Hi, and welcome back to Type 1 Diabetes Explained. Today, we're going to take a look at ways to help you raise your blood sugar if it is too low. We'll first start by looking at ways to prevent low blood sugars in the first place, and later we'll look at ways to raise your blood sugar if it does go too low. The easiest way to prevent low blood sugars is by carefully watching the carbohydrates in the food that you were eating and the amount of insulin that you were dosing with. The most common reason for low blood sugars is that you either dosed too much for a meal or didn't dose at the correct time. Always make sure that you are carefully monitoring the carbohydrates in the food that you are eating. Mistakes can lead to both under or overdosing, neither of which are good. Most foods and restaurants will have nutrition facts, but there will still be times when you encounter foods that don't have this kind of detailed information. Instead, use the internet to find a food that is similar or equivalent to what you are planning to eat. This will help give you a guideline for about how many carbs are in the food you plan on eating. Second, always dose about 15 to 20 minutes ahead of when you are planning to eat. If you dose too late, then your blood sugar may shoot up and then come down and go low. If you dose too early, then your blood sugar may drop before you have eaten. You won't always be able to dose perfectly on time, but do your best. Exercise can also cause your blood sugar to go low. If you've been exercising a lot, carefully monitor your blood sugar. Aerobic exercise, which is exercise that raises your heart rate, will often cause your blood sugar to drop during or shortly after exercise. However, strength exercise, such as weights or muscle training, can often cause your blood sugar to drop several hours after you exercise. Always monitor your blood sugar carefully, both during and after exercise. Talk with your doctor about the best exercise plan for you. You will most likely have low blood sugars at some point, so here's what to do to treat them. Follow the 15-15 rule. Have 15 grams of fast-acting carbs, such as juice or candy, and recheck after 15 minutes. If your blood sugar is still low, have another 15 grams. Repeat this process until your blood sugar is back to normal. Aside from eating, there isn't much else you can do to raise your blood sugar, as opposed to when your blood sugar is high and you have a few more options. Most of the time, you will be able to treat low blood sugars by eating fast-acting carbs, but there are times when you should seek medical attention for your low blood sugars. Seek medical attention immediately if you have any of the following symptoms paired with low blood sugar. Poor coordination, poor concentration, numbness in the mouth and tongue, passing out, and seizures. Hopefully you now know more about how to prevent your blood sugar from going low and how to treat it if it does. As always, consult your doctor about what is best for you. For more helpful resources, visit our website at t1dexplained.org.